story of Yenik 19 is such a tragic story. Grim, dark, and hard to comprehend. A story of men wanting to rape two visitors, the angels that visited Sodom and Gomorrah, bringing the message of destruction upon the city. A story of Lot himself compromising to an extent of trying to suggest that he can give his two daughters or offer them to this gang that they may do whatever they want to do with him. A story of Lot himself lingering when God wants to save him through the angels. A story of Lot's daughters sinning with him having an incest and giving birth to two enemies of Israelites later on. So if you're thinking of sin in Genesis 3, well, in Genesis 19 is the uttermost dark point in the ugliness of sin being exhibited. Well, as you look at the passage, you can't help but see the depravity of mankind. I mean, we always underestimate our depravity, the extent to which we can go with sin that we harbor deep inside our hearts. If you look at this chapter, you can't help but see the judgment of God that befalls those who take him for granted, those who disobey him, those who don't pay attention to his call. And so God judges these people, for indeed, they took him for granted. But as you look at this passage in Genesis 19, you can't help but appreciate the jewel hidden in this muddy story of God rescuing grace, coming forth to rescue Lord who never deserved this, and making sure that he's safe together with his daughter as the city is destroyed. Friends, as you think through this passage, what is the Bible called to you and me? What sin are you quoting? Is it small, you say? Well, small sin grows to big sin and becomes as ugly as the one we see here. After all, every sin also grieves God and attracts his punishment. The call is that you won't just see the ugliness of sin here, but the call is actually goes to that point of helping us appreciate the need for us to hate sin, flee from sin, and fight sin by the help of God's grace as we live in this broken world. After all, that was Sodom and Gomorrah. But I don't think our world today is different in any terms. We see these things again and again, the rottenness in the systems around, in families, in every aspect of our society. Sin is literally everywhere. What are you doing about it? Run away from sin. <laughs>